Right, what's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the different crosshairs in CS2, how to change them, what the different changes mean, and how to import and export your crosshair. So, first, let's have a look at what crosshair I have. I currently have a classic static green crosshair with a black outline. It's not very thick, um, the gap is not big, I have no dots, and it is not moving because it's plastic and static. Now, let's go over that. So, to change your crosshair, you're gonna click escape. You're gonna go to the menu. Um, you're gonna go to game and then crosshair. You have all these options. You can also search for crosshair with the search bar here, just like this. Here you are. What does all this mean? Well, we have the classic crosshair. This is gonna be moving whilst you're moving. It's gonna be moving whilst you're shooting and uh, it's just the most dynamic crosshair we have. I'll show you that here. Um, as you can see, there's some little dots that are moving around all over the place. Um, so if you're moving a little bit, just sneak in. The outer crosshairs are not gonna move too much. If you're moving a lot, they're gonna move a lot. If you're jumping, they are so far out of the way, it's kind of hard to see them there. Um, if you're shooting, they're also moving far out. So that is a dynamic crosshair, also known as the classic. Um, next, we have the classic static. That's what I normally use. Simple, it doesn't move, it doesn't do much. And lastly, we have the legacy. This doesn't move whilst we're moving at all, as you can see. Absolutely no movement here, but as we shoot, it does move around. So you can time your shots here a little easier. Next, um, on the crosshair menu, we have the friendly fire reticle warning. This is going to show you your teammates and your enemies so you don't uh, commit team damage too much. So I'll show you this. So as you can see, I am a terrorist right now with my Glock and um, I'm going to hover over a counter terrorist and as you'll see, there's nothing on the counter terrorist but when we go over the terrorist, my teammate, there's a little orange sort of um, perpendicular cross that goes over. So that helps you identify your teammates and your enemies. Uh, just a little bit more help there. Okay, next on the crosshair menu, we have the follow recoil. So this is going to make things bounce around a bit, I believe. So a little bit hard to show here, but as you can see, when I'm shooting a lot, my crosshair is going up a little bit, but yeah, I don't see many people using this. I'm going to turn that back off. As we can see, we have the ability to add a dot, take a dot away. That really doesn't do much besides add a dot. This is very self-explanatory. Next, we have the ability to change the length. Now you can see your crosshair being customized here, so I'm not going to tab out all that much. You can change the length, okay? You can change the thickness, nice. You can change the gap. The gap is going to change a bit with the thickness just because of how the lengths of the crosshair works. Um, you can add a line, take it away. It's just going to help with adding some more contrast just in case you're on a map where the colour of your crosshair blends in a little bit. Um, of course, you can change the colours. Now, the most common colours are green, yellow and bright pink. You can change the alpha channel. So this is just to make it contrast a little bit more. You can make it more solid, less solid, just like that. Um, finally, you can take off the T here. That, I don't know why that's an option, but if you like it, you can use it. Um, it's relatively new as far as Counter-Strike goes, but there you are, T crosshair. We're gonna show you how to import a crosshair, because maybe you wanna play like the pros, and to play like the pros, you need their crosshairs. Here, you can do share or import. So, this allows you to either copy your code, which looks like this, or you can import a code. So here I have Zaiwu's code from Vitality. So here you can import a code just like that. You import it and now apparently this is Zaiwu's crosshair. Uh, it looks like he has the ability to uh, differentiate between his teammates and enemies there. It doesn't move, it doesn't have an outline, it doesn't have a dart, it is solid. There's not much going on here, but fantastic. That is Zyru's crosshair. And of course, if you want to show your crosshair, you can just 
copy your code and send it on. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this.